What up Taurus Legacies? Welcome back to the account. For those that are new, welcome. For those who are returning, thank you. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as soon as you come in. This is gonna be a September reading, so let's take a look at what September has in store for you, Taurus. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Knock out that notification bell so you get so you stay up to date with your next video. Hit that notification bell. Knock out that notification bell. Um, yeah, let's look at what September holds. We'll also channel or tap into the hidden truth and find out how your person really feels about you. And we'll use uh, Romance Angels and connect with my love team for you. All right. This is going to be a love reading and the hidden truth reading for September. I'm going to interchange between the Light Seers and the Urban Tarot. Okay, what do we have here for September for Taurus Spirit? Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, the Fool card, the Three of Cups, and we have the Seven of Wands. We have a lot of spiritual enlightenment, uh, fresh starts within this relationship. I do see your friends uh, warming up more so to this. Okay, I feel like they were kind of against um, this connection, but I see them being supportive and um, elaborative, uh, expressive on their thoughts. Your spiritual enlightenment, right? Your bubble that currently circulates and surrounds you at the beginning of September in that first week is going to be uh, a healing process. Okay, you're no longer going to be in flight mode from those things that you fear. Okay, because I see you having fear of love, fear of abandonment, fear of neglect, Taurus. Let's use the Urban Tarot and let's channel here what else is in store for you. All right. Ooh, twin flame energy. Whoa. Twin flame energy. We have the world card, aka the universe and the urban tarot, the five of discs, and the knight of swords again. Okay. Same card, different deck, double confirmation. Okay, what's needed here for you, okay, is be very strategic. Okay. Be very strategic of the way you're going to unfold, the way you're going to approach this connection, okay? Make sure you're taking care of yourself as well, because I do see some health risks here, okay? I do see doctor visits. Um, the universe here is trying to warn you, right? To make sure you're placing your health as a priority, that you're taking that right next indicated step. I'm channeling a lot of twin flame energy between you and your person, Taurus. Yes, double confirmation um, here with the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Hanged Man, okay? So there's a lot of love that circulates you and your person at this present moment in time, and it's going to completely evolve into September. September is going to be a time for you, Taurus, where you're really going to embody that twin flame energy. Um, it is going to also require you practice contrary action kind of take a step back, be more present, be more mindful, and have more of a therapeutic approach. Um, so watch like the way you're, you're responding versus the way you're reacting, okay? You gotta take that pause button, be mindful, and watch the way that you're responding, right? right? Don't react, respond. Reactions are done from impulsiveness. Responding is done from mindfulness, okay? That's the difference here. Let me tap into your person psychologically and emotionally. I wanna see where they stand uh, when it comes to you. Ooh. Okay, so they're, they are open-minded here. Okay, we got the world card again. Picking up on some strong Leo, Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Um, they're being open-minded here for this. I do see them wanting to expand. Uh, 
I, I do see them wanting to be more assertive with the way they would like to be and seeing a sense of vulnerab vulnerab vulnerability here. With the Page of Cups. There's a sense of transparency here with the World card. And then with the Strength card, I am getting them having the bravery and courage to come forth and be vulnerable, which is difficult for them, Taurus. It's difficult for them to be vulnerable and transparent, but they're willing to create something magical here with you. September is going to be a time where magic is going to be at its service. Magic is going to be circulating around you. You're going to find synchronicities. An angel number here that I see for you is 218. 218 is an angel number here for you. Taurus, let me know in the comments down below what angel number 218 is. Let's see what else we have here for you. Six of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Tower. Okay, so September 6th is going to be... Sheesh! It's going to be all eyes on you, okay? All eyes on you, Taurus. We have some major influences here with the new moon, uh, August 27th. It's going to birth you in September, the beginning of September, with a lot of blessings, a lot of focus on you. I see your person being very invested into you and wanting to make sure that they're continuing to give you that glow, that, that feeling of love and butterflies in your stomach. Let's use the hidden. Oh, let's use the hidden truth here. Let's see what. Let's tap into how they really feel about you, Spirit. How do how do they really feel about Taurus? I still have feelings for you. I have trouble with intimacy, and I don't know why this happened. Okay. So these energies may resonate now. They may resonate into September. Just keep that in mind. I still have feelings for you. I, I have trouble with intimacy and I don't know why this happened. Okay. So there tends to be a sense of a hiccup, uh, some, a step back. But I do see it being replaced here in September a lot more intensely with being on the same page, the same perspective. So Spirit here wants you to embody playfulness, to recapture romance, okay? Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine, okay? Let it shine, let it shine. Playfulness. Tap into that energy, right? Tap into that energy that had your person fall in love with you. How was your person when you fell in love with them? Try to recapture that romance, that playfulness, that flirtation. That's what's going to help this connection here for you in September, okay? Uh, uh, considering the timeline here, I'm hearing pull a Greek gods and Titan, Greek gods, gods and Titan, Greek message for you, Greek oracle message. See. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know right now? Discovery. Maui. Maui, and it's called Discovery. Maui, Maui. 919 on the clock. Angel number 919 is another message for you, love. Let's look into Maui. Discovery. Feel eager again for discovery and adventure, okay? Curiosity may help you break barriers and solve problems. Across, Poly across uh, Polynesia, from New Zealand to Hawaii, we hear stories about the hero Maui. Although the tales differ slightly from island to island and region to region, Maui exploits 
have given man fire, inverted the kite, and even fished up the whole islands for humans to live on. Sometimes depicted as slightly disheveled and street smart, Maui manages to outwit his brothers and other opponents in his adventures. Other versions tell of a strong and mighty Maui, able to perform extraordinary heroic feats, but the common traits in most of his stories are his curiosity and urge for discovery. Maui is the being responsible for introducing fire to man. In fact, he stole it from a bird. Maui and his brothers went fishing in the lagoon and happened to look back at the moment near the ship at the mountain near the shore. There was a fire burning. Man had not had fire for many generations. As the volcano that supplied the embers had seized its rumbling, racing back, Maui found only a wisp of smoke and a family of mud hens stamp, stamp, uh, stamping the fire out. Every day thereafter, Maui and his brothers checked for fire but saw nothing. However, as they paddled out to fish one day, they saw a fire glowing against the mountain out of reach again. Now Maui had a plan. He decided to wait on shore while his brothers went fishing, but no fire appeared. Increasingly frustrated, Maui decided to make a life-size doll for himself, and his brothers paddled out with it one fine day. This time, Maui would catch the birds at their fire. Maui climbed up the mountain and found a hen just about to make the fire. Not waiting for her to start, he grabbed her and held her prisoner, reminding him that if he hurt her, the secret would be lost. The bird convinced Maui to release her and return for the recipe for fire. The old hen taught Maui how to start a fire by rubbing special sticks together. Maui, quite the funny man, said to the mud head, Come here, there is one more thing to rub and he rubbed the feathers on her head so hard that a bald patch appeared. Ever since that day, the mud hens have had no feathers on their heads. <laughs> Maui's sense of discovery also extended to creating a fishing hook so powerful that it pulled up whole islands from the ocean to his utter surprise, mind you, and it said that he created the islands of Hawaii in that way. Call on Maui when you are eager for discovery. When you are working on solving a difficult problem and the answer seems far away, or when you need a, to find a little of the hero within yourself. Um, the shadow side to Maui. Maui is a trickster and often makes his discoveries or gets his prize through stealing or, at the very least, outmaneuvering those in his way. While the end sometimes does justify the means, deceit and deception are not the ideal ways to get what we want. Maui's appearance, Maui's appearance raises questions about our levels of authenticity, honesty, and contrivance. We need to also monitor our levels of anger and frustration. Sometimes humor can diffuse a difficult situation in the best possible way. If you want to invocate Maui, then place a fish hook on your altar. Your altar can be simple as a small coffee table or a shelf where you keep your most precious things. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Or you can also get up, go out to a body of water and cast a line with a fish hook attached. No bait, please. You'll also need some small tropical flowers, ideally. Maui hero, Maui, Maui hero and discoverer, son of Hina, friend of mankind. Aloha, throw a flower in the water or upon your altar. Maui, I have a problem that needs a solution. I am frustrated that I cannot find a way through. Friend of mankind, aloha, throw another flower. Maui, help me know the secret. Help me discover my strengths. Help me find a way through in joy and good spirits. Friend of mankind, aloha, aloha, aloha. Hold the book or the line. As I pull this back to me, I know what I need will be hooked and brought to me for my use. Aloha, Maui. 
pull the pull the hook back in and know that you are now in possession of all you need. Sheesh. If this message resonated, Taurus, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. Smash that subscribe button. Knock out that notification bell so you stay up to date with any additional content. With that being said, much love, Taurus. Taurus gang. Taurus gang gang. Love you, legacies.